Hello friends and welcome back to Everbloom Island. It's been a little while since I recorded these, uh, which you guys won't notice because they're all scheduled, but it's been a little while for me. Uh, so last we left off, it was my birthday, although none of the villagers seemed to notice, but we wandered around the museum and had a good time and we met a new friend, Chevra, who hopefully will be able to move in today because we also finished the store so i'm very excited for that hello everyone this is tom nook it is 10 46 a.m this happy wednesday june 1st 2022 now for today's news business is booming at the shop my staff opened well done masters timmy and tommy it's a small shop the budget Change stock daily and carry a selection of goods sure to better your island life. Come by from 8am to 10pm daily, and if the store is closed, simply use their drop-off box to sell your items. Ah, one more thing. To celebrate the opening of the shop, we've added a new catalogue service to Nook Shopping. The catalogue lets customers see a record of items they've obtained or purchased. Any mass-marketed items can be ordered directly through the catalogue, so make good use of it. Now then, with all that said, I hope everyone takes advantage of the new Nook's Cranny! Oh dear, never fails. Of course this would happen right in the middle of a broadcast. Ah, uh, ha, one moment please. Hello? This is Hamduk from Nook Inc. Yes, what? The getaway package? Why yes, yes, of course! And that's all for today's island-wide broadcast. Ah, so sorry to put you on hold. Allow me to give you a full overview of the... I love his little feet, his little toe beans as he walks off. So yeah, today we can get started on getting some new island residents, which is very exciting. Uh, not that I'm... Not excited to meet Chevra, but you know, depending on how speedily I can get through them, which is probably not going to be very speedily, but we might even get to meet more than just one new friend, which will be cool. And if not, we can meet them tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow, but you know, next time. I did listen to a pronunciation guide, and apparently it's a Chevra for our new Grotish friend. All right. Radio. I got a commemorative gift. Oh, rank A, congratulations. You got a commemorative gift. I don't know if I've read this one or not. Oh, that's right. I ordered a bunch of things. I forgot. Because there was such a long time between recording. Well, not a long time, but you know, a couple of weeks. But I'm excited. We can decorate the house a little bit and I am gonna put on a bear tea. Oh, I don't know if I like the bear or the frog better. I'll open this one. And we'll put on some rain boots. Ah, yes, I'm a beautiful fashion disaster. As it should be. I also got a new controller for my birthday, so it's a bit tough to... It's very small. Like, I like it because I have small hands, but it's pretty small, so it's a bit of... Getting used to it. Uh, where should we put the pennant? Maybe. Oh dear. Uh, above the thing. So, pockets. Let's put the pennant up here. I think that looks nice. And then we've got the world map. And we've got too many <laughs> we've got too many windows. Well, what if we move this over here? And then we can put the world map here. Like there. I think that looks alright. And now we'll put our stuff away. Slowly and steadily wins the race. Alright, alright. 
Now we can check out the store, and we can go talk to Tom Nook, and we can get some more friends on our island. Ooh, and Genji's in his house, so he might be crafting. We should go say hello. I love that the chimes are different based on the styles of houses, too. Oh, Genji, your house is so sad and empty. Hey, Velvet, long time we see. What are you, what are you up to? Me? I'm up to almost 7,000 push ups a day. Bet you can't beat that. Need something, Ruchi? Let's chat. Guess what? I finally earned something that even I have trouble lifting. Yep, I have a house now, Ruchi. It's got walls, a floor, even a ceiling. I can finally do jumping jacks without ripping a hole in my home. Aw, good for you, Ruchi. It is a bit of a basic house, but we can, we can fix that. I have happy home designer. We can, we can do anything <laughs> eventually. And let's go say hello to Faith. You're Velvet. How are you? Haven't caught up in a while. Nobody's seen you here in like weeks. What were you doing? Don't tell me you were just spaced out in front of the TV all this time, because I totally would have joined you. <laughs> Look, Faith, they're not here to talk about me. <laughs> yeah? What's up, Aloha? What's the latest? Oh, hey, big news. I have officially moved on from tent life. I got a house, Aloha. I mean, tents are cool and all, but I can fit way more stuff in a house. Plus, now it finally feels like I actually live here instead of just roughing it. That's good. And neither of them have dirt floors, which makes me really happy. I guess I can check my little bit of beach here for the uh, message in a bottle too. Just really quickly before we go check the store. Oh, whoops, sorry fish, I scared you away. Alright, let's go... Where do I even put it? Over here. Oh, it's, uh, one of the sisters. I was worried when I heard you were all moving towards a dead island, but this is much nicer than I imagined. It's so nice, so nice. We've been here for a little while and it's really starting to come along. It seems you make new discoveries almost every day. We moved here because of our jobs, but we're having a lot of fun too. I'm so pleased to hear that. Actually, I came here today to check in on you and see if you need any assistance with anything. It's our way of celebrating our new shop. You know, we sisters like to help wherever we can. Any island ideas come to mind? You're too kind, Mabel. We're just overwhelmed that you even thought to come visit us. Visit us. Oh, hey, I think... Something come to mind? Well, we still have some logistical challenges to overcome. We depend on mail orders for a lot of our goods. Having the shop should make it a bit easier for us to obtain ready-made furniture and stuff like that, but... We still need a clothing supplier. Aha! Something tells me that today is your lucky day. As it turns out, it's really not that difficult for us to get to this island. How about if I stop by every so often to sell some of our wares to your wonderful island dwellers? Oh wow, do you really mean that? Our residents will be so overjoyed. So overjoyed! Of course, silly! If we can sell our goods here, it's a win-win situation for everyone. I suppose with that settled, I should head home and work out the details with my sister. Yes, please do that. Do that. We can't wait to see you here again. Oh, Velvet! Sorry to keep you waiting. Waiting! Thanks to your help, we've opened up this amazing new shop. New shop. Our shop is named in honor of a shop our beloved President Nook used to run. Welcome to Nook's Cranny! As you can see, we're offering ready-made furniture and items that can't be made as DIY projects. Also, in the back cabinet with the tools and other miscellaneous goods, we have wallpaper and flooring. We hope to fulfill all your shopping needs. Shopping needs. Well, let's buy a panda first. I'll buy it. And then I'll buy the bathroom vanity. If it's not too expensive. 
this show off. Why not? I mean, I don't have any furniture, so at least this way I can start a little something. I'll buy this one too. And then I will check in here. Okay, so it's 3,000 for the wetsuit. Did I? Hang on. I have this, I think. What about this one? Let's see. Okay, so I don't have this one. I'm going to need it, I think, for the um, new houses, so I have to get it anyway. I may as well get it now. And we're done! I hope you enjoyed DIY even more now with all your new recipes. New recipes! I don't know, let me go back to having a look. Um, I do want to pick some of this stuff up at some point, but I don't know if I want it right now. Ooh, I could have such a goth house. Oh, it's so tempting. Alright, well... Um, look, I can be financially irresponsible. It's just a video game. Okay. No, I think I'm done for now. I just love all the little details, like the light switch on the wall and the little, um, the blue coin container. Okay, let's skedaddle. And I like how rustic it looks too, with like the little mat on the floor. Okay. Now, let's go talk to Tom. Because I really... I mean, the island... I like Faith and Genji, but the island could use some more companions on it, in my opinion. Yes, of course. Don't worry about a thing. We can set up your getaway package to include a lovely furnished term. Mm-hmm. Oh, not at all. We'll set up your moving date at a later time. No, no, no trouble at all. I just need to draw up the proper contracts. Understood. We will get back to you very soon. Thank you. Velvet, sorry to keep you waiting. I suppose you overheard that call I just got. For some time now, I've been advertising the Everbloom getaway package. And wouldn't you know, out of the blue, we have three interested parties. That's great. Yes, yes, it's quite wonderful. Thank you, thank you. Uh, wonderful except for one minor little detail. None of our applicants are too fond of the notion of sleeping in tents, you see. I'm afraid I got caught up in the excitement of persuading them to move here, and I may have promised them fully furnished terms. Three homes, setting aside the land, preparing all the furnishings. It's just too much for one raccoon. <laughs> but Velvet... Here you are, in my hour of need. It most certainly must be fate. Would you help me get these terms prepared, all three of them? Of course, I will have to give you a good and proper thank you for your assistance. Of course. Thank you, thank you so much. I'll never forget this. Oh, you're going to need some top secret instruc instructions. When you're ready, come talk to me. Use the phrase, what should I do? Agent, look out. Oh, this is fun. It is fun. Nothing in here. Well, let's check in here first. Very quickly. Get out 80 points, 50 points. Gosh, we didn't even get the day two. <laughs> okay, let's check the nook shopping. Anything? Oh, there's a whole bunch. Okay, well. That food looks really good. Um, that apron's really cute. I think I've actually, I'm not exactly on real time, so I don't think the wedding event has started yet. Um, but I'm getting the stuff in the store, so we might just pretend that that's not there for now. And I'm just gonna order the KK song. And the hers reel. And not the lantern, because I mean, I think we've already got the lantern, so it should already be in the catalogue. And then let's go talk to Mr. Nook. 
That was that throne. Sending your bells on the island helps to revitalize the local economy. Yes, yes. I'll reward you with miles based on how many bells you spent. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I spent 5,000 again, which is pretty good. Alright, let's talk to Nook. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. What should I do? Oh, so you're already ready to help me prepare. Here's what I'm thinking. We really should start by building a bridge across a river somewhere. With three homes to build, I worry that we'll run out of space on land that is easily accessible. A bridge will open things up a bit and make it easier to get to housing plots during construction, hmm? So, that's why I'd like you to start by crafting the parts for a bridge base. Get your DIY skills ready. And then you'll want to decide on a prime location for the bridge too. Okay. I forgot about this step. And done! I've just sent you a recipe for a bridge construction kit. You can find it on your Nook phone. Once you've assembled your bridge construction kit, find a good spot for a bridge and then check in with me. It can be a little tricky to place a, place a bridge, but we can t talk if you have trouble or need some advice. Good luck, Velvet. Alright, let's have a look at what you, we need for the bridge construction kit, which is a mouthful. Some log stakes and some clay. Alright, well, where are the log stakes? I think they're down here, yeah. Okay, so I'm a little short on wood, but that's alright. We can go gather some, and I should check what my daily missions are because we still need a lot more Nook Miles. So let's see. Complete a DIY, well we're going to do that. Some fossils, a balloon, clumps of leaves, and some bugs. Well. We could do a little weeding, it has gotten a bit of a groan, especially since I haven't been playing uh, consistently every day. So I think catching some bugs, uh, picking up some weeds and catching some bugs is a good idea. I'll just do a few there, because I don't want to be weeding all day. Is there no more? Oh, I have a money tree over there! Let's see. Where's my little thing called? This one? Let's go! Ah, oh, it feels good. See, I already made back all of that money I spent. That's nice. Uh, where's my shovel? I guess I'll go with the flimsy one so it can... Oh, that's right, because we were on the island digging things up. Are there any, any more fossils over here? I know I should be hitting rocks too, but I'm a, I'm a woman with a mission today. I'll check up here first, because then I can go down along the beach too and check for my message in the bottle. No fossils, no message yet. That rock is very inconveniently placed because I keep running into it. This one too. But that's alright. I'll just have to get used to it. A lot of shells. Alright. No message in a bottle. So that must be on the other side. Okay. I'm not sure where to put a bridge actually. I think this side is kind of um, narrow, so it might be better to go up the top or to the other side, but here's another fossil. Yep. And I know that we didn't have a message in a bottle down there, so let's just skeet out a little. See, I, I'd love to build these houses like over here because we've got so much space, whereas if I go over the river, um, it's pretty narrow, in my opinion. Okay, so, oh, there's my bottle. Let's grab you. And then I saw a telltale glow, so let me pick up these weeds too. Because I would love another money tree. Okay, now let's get... 10,000 bells. 
turn around and bury them in the hole. So that will be a nice surprise when we come back next time. Let's check this message in a bottle. Congrats on finding my treasure. I really wanted to make an item as like an homage to my favorite pop star and came up with this recipe. I put it in this bottle, so check it out. This recipe is for sure a hit. You'll want to use it all the time. Peanut, Master Crafter. Thanks, Peanut. A wooden full length mirror. I mean, that does seem very, very pop star esque, but see, like, it's just so narrow on this stretch of land that I'm not sure where I'd put the houses, because I know that they need, um, they need a whole bunch of, like, a whole yard and everything around them, so. And even up here, there's not much space. Is that a balloon? I can hear a balloon. Oh, but if I pop it, it's just gonna land in the river, isn't it? I'd have to wait for it to, like, come over here, maybe? Because if I pop it there, it's just gonna go in the weeds! Okay, hang on, maybe if I, like, really quickly pick some of these up. Oh, okay. Iron nuggets, nice. I mean, we don't really need any anymore because we've got the sh store built, but it's still nice to have some. And I believe I saw our fossil over here as well. So we can grab that. And go get them assessed and sell off some weeds. Okay, and I know I could catch some bugs, but I'm just not in a very bug-catchy mood today. Fossils. Let's go. And there's no new bugs for Blathers to tell us about, so... Sorry to wake you up, sir. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> oh dear, pardon me. Good morning, Velvet. Welcome to the Everblue Museum. How may I be of service? I've got some fossils for you. Hoo, more than one I see. Let us take a closer look, shall we? Hoo, hooray, I found something that is not yet part of our esteemed collection. It is magnificent indeed. You have a talent for finding the finest of the fossils. How come we keep getting duplicates? I'm very bothered by that. What did we get? An ammonite. Okay, well, let's go for uh, coprolite first. Ooh, hoo, hoo, could it be? It is a copper coprolite. I never thought I'd lay eyes on such a well-preserved coprolite. May I give you a presentation? Of course, Blathers. Wonderful. It is fascinating stuff. I show you. Now, where to begin? Coprolites are, in fact, um, bits of fossilized feces. Hew, ew, it's true! It must be said that they are also astonishing travelers of ancient information. And uh, what? For example, the coprolite from certain plant-eating dinosaurs has been found to contain small pebbles. This tells us that these dinosaurs, like many modern birds, ate rocks, and ate rocks to help grind the greens in their bellies. Indeed, fossilized feces reveal not only what the food the dinos ate, but how they digested it too. Who knew? That... I mean, that is pretty fascinating, honestly. Let's go with the next one. Uh, let's go with the Quetzal ring. Wing. Oof. <laughs> of course, Leathers. The Quetzal... Quetzalcoatlus, the undisputed ruler of the skies, at least during the late Cretaceous period. It had a magnificent wingspan of roughly 36 feet, making it one of the largest flying animals ever. 
While it no doubt soared magnificently, we now know that it also crawled on all fours. It's a bit disappointing, really. This illustrious sky god scrabbling on the ground like a common beetle. They say you should never meet your heroes. <laughs> Any hoot, I will gladly accept your destination. You want to get the rest, blah blah blah. Yep, I got one more for you today, blathers. A diurny torso, I think? Dinoni torso. Dinoni torso? Again, I'm not a dinosaur person. <laughs> Ahem. Yes, you may not have heard of a Dinophysius, but you may have heard of its cousin, the Velociraptor. Both were predators distinguished by their frighteningly huge toe claws. They also likely had feathers. The main difference between them, size. Dinoxius weighed was about 7 feet tall and weighed 160 pounds. Little Velociraptor on the other wing was a compact 2 feet tall and weighed about only 33 pounds. Um, I've seen Jurassic Park and I know that's not true. I've heard that people meeting celebrities are often surprised at how short they are in person. Okay, and that is all our fossils for today. So, let's maybe hand these in because we don't know what we'll get afterwards. And we might get, you know, something else about, yeah. Oh, I got one to buy things, but I already bought things. <laughs> That's alright, we'll sell some weeds and chop some trees. I love the mu music in the museum too, it's so relaxing. Okay, let's go sell some weeds and our extra fossils. And then I'll go chop down some trees to get the wood so we can build the bridge, even though I'm really not sure where to put it yet. Hello, Timmy. Hmm, there's something else. Oh right, with our new shop come three new services. First, let's talk turnips. I've heard the turnip market is about to take off here on the island. You'll probably see a turnip seller soon. We'll buy any turnips you have on hand. The price is set in the morning and afternoon, so be sure to stop by. One note, we don't accept turnips on Sundays. That's the day the turnip seller visits the island. Second now, new service involves the hot item of the day. The hot item will change every day. If you bring one in to sell, we'll give you double its normal price. You can check the hot item of the day on the sign in front of the shop or by asking us directly. And the last new service we're offering is a drop-off box. You can find it in front of the shop. Say you're in a hurry or the shop is closed, you can just drop off any items you want to sell. Easy, right? We'll pay you later by sending the funds directly to your bank account. And I should mention a few things. There is a handling fee, and we don't accept turnips, and hot items will sell for just the regular price. And I think that wraps it up. Sorry about that, that explanation went on for a bit. How can I help? I want to sell. Of course. Well, I'm selling an ammonite and some weeds. And there's not a lot. Alright, and then let's skedaddle. Claim this, and then go chop down some trees. We got one to get ten, so we might just... I think we only need one piece of wood, but we may as well get um, the daily quest finished, so... Let's pick up some more weeds, too. Oh no, I didn't get my wood? Or did it go behind? Well, I picked up something behind. I don't know if it was weeds or wood. I got really scared that that was a wasp nest I just knocked down. Oops. Oh no! No, I tried so hard! <sighs> ow, 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 ow! I got slung by wasps! That's fine. That's, that's fine. I mistimed it! Oh, that's alright. Did we get our wood? 
Okay, yes, we did. I might go talk to uh, Faith and see if she can give me some medicine for my poor face. Sell fruit. And buy things and catch some bugs. Hmm, maybe I should catch some bugs. Because then I can sell them to... Wow, I'm not very good at aiming today. <laughs> Alright, well let's get some fruit. We can sell some fruit. We can sell some bugs. I guess every little, every bell counts. I think the first bridge is free though, because it's um, a special craft. Is that another balloon? It is another balloon. Let's grab that as well. As soon as it comes into range, yeah. Alright, what did we get? I can never like wait to open these. Tree bounty little tree. Huh. What is that? I just wanna look at what that is. I don't think I've seen that heard of that one before. On there, where did it go? Oh, it's like a little Christmas tree that's made out of um bottom things. That's cute. I like that. Alright, what was I doing? Did I get enough pears? I did get enough pears. And I got something. It's raining treasure. No one knows who sends out the gifts attached to balloons to our island, but you can earn miles by shooting them down and collecting what's inside. Okay. Now, let's get our net back so we can catch some butterflies. Assuming we can find any. Now that I'm looking for them, I'm probably going to have a really tough time. Oh, there it goes. I don't think I have another net, do I? Yeah. Oh wait, if I go see Faith, I think I can use her workbench, so we might just do that. <gasps> She's not in her house! Where did she go? Faith, I hurt my face. Whoa, 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 what's up with your face? Did you get stung by a wasp? Does it hurt? Are you okay? Yeah, they can be mean sometimes, or uh, all times. Gotta be careful around them, you know? Um, well, it is kind of too late to be careful now, but you know what I mean, Aloha. I bet that does hurt, though. If I had medicine with me, I'd give it to you. But tell you what, I'll show you how to make medicine. My mom taught me when I was little. Just get all the stuff for the recipe together, and you can whip up some medicine in no time. Good luck. Thanks, Faith. Well, not quite what I wanted, but, you know, that works. Let's learn this. I think it's cheaper to actually buy the medicine and sell the wasp and asparagus, so we might do that. But first, I have to get a new net, because that one broke, unfortunately. I'm not really a fan of the breakable tools. Like, I understand why they did it, but... I wish I could just keep it forever. <laughs> Alright. Net. Maybe I should make a better net. Yeah, can I make a more good net? Yeah, this guy. One iron nugget? Sure, let's go. Alright, I'm all done for now. Let's skedaddle outside and make sure it went into our keyring. Yeah, it looks like it. Alright. I need more bugs. More bugs. I saw some dragonflies before, but now that I'm looking, I don't know where they went. Is that another balloon? Or is it just the wind? I think it's just the wind. 
Ooh, that's not butterflies. Yep. No, come back. Thank you. And then there was one here. Which I'm to, you know, it's the new controller, all right? That's that's my excuse. Is that I'm just uh, I'm not used to this controller, and it's got some thumb caps on it, and um, I'm yeah, I'm just not good at it. <laughs> This is why I didn't want to go bug catching. Oh, come on. That was like... Okay, there we go. We've got our five bugs. I do need to check that I don't have to give that praying mantis to um, Blabbers as well. And do some fishing. Well, I don't know if we'll do the fishing, but... Is it a balloon or am I just hearing balloons everywhere now? Because it's windy. I think I'm just hearing things. Hello, Mr. Blathers. Do you want... Yes, you do. Have a mantis. Eek! A mantis! What a wretched thing! Alas, I am obliged to ask. Would you like to learn more about the specimen? Please tell me. Oh, I see. In that case, ahem. Who? Don't let the mantis's angelic pose fool you, for it is truly monstrous. The mantis is known for its large eyes and tremendous strength and sickle-like arms that pack a punch. And though they tend to eat bugs and spiders, mantises have been known to dine on small animals, too. And there's eerie eyes. Oh my, did you know it has five of them? Two big ones and three small. I shall faint if I think on it further. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And of course you'll take good care of it. Alright, let's skedaddle. And then get outside. Go sell our stuff. Go make the log stake so we can make our bridge. And I still don't know where I'll put it, but... Maybe on one of the river sides to open up the island a bit more. Butterfly. Kind of fun. Sold. And then, let's go make our bridge. I should buy medicine, but I know that if I go to sleep, it'll, my face will automatically heal, so I'm being a little stingy, I have to admit. Four log stakes, and then I have to get some clay out of my house, which I forgot to do. Log stakes. Log stakes. Here we are. I'm trying to keep count, sorry. <laughs> mm -hmm. so four of these, and then four clay. And then I think we're done. I really don't have a lot of wood there. Okay. Oh, no, I meant yes. Okay, there we go. Alright, I just want to check that I'm not actually missing anything except for the clay. Yeah, okay, four clay. I'll be right back, Tom. I should claim my Nook Miles, just in case. Oh, and we've got a, one, uh, an achievement one, too. Let's 
DIY furniture. Here's a win-win-win situation. Craft your own furniture. Win. Enjoy your handiwork. Win. And nook miles for the furniture you've crafted. Win. What could be better than that? And we're up to 7,000. That's pretty good. In my opinion. Alright, let's go get some clay. Because I know I've got a whole bunch in my house. And we can put away our stuff too, finally. <laughs> and I know I could just craft a DIY work bench and craft in my house, but alright actually mm, let's do some redecorating super duper really quickly let's see the panda let's put the panda up here I mean he matches the rug Bathroom sink. I mean, I know we don't have a bathroom, but at least we can have a sink for it. And then maybe we'll put the oven over here. Yeah. Maybe we'll put this away. We'll put the oven over here. <laughs> we'll leave the candle. It's it's fine. It's it's fine. It's it's Animal Crossing. It's not gonna blow up. It'll be it'll be fine. It is very goth. Okay, we'll save these for, for later. And then those are all of our log sticks, so. Look, the goth aesthetic didn't choose. I didn't choose the goth aesthetic, it chose me. We'll make like a spooky room. Um, and now we just need our clay. And then I think that's everything. I'm such a sad little inventory. I'm, in my other game, I had it all maxed out and I had a bunch of stuff. Well, not a bunch of stuff, because I, I would see person of people on Reddit that have, you know, like 4,000 gold nuggets. And I'm like, I have like 20 gold nuggets and I thought I had a bunch, but sure. Put more furniture in your house. Nook Inc. will give you Nook Miles based on the number of indoor furniture you have. Oh, there you go. 80 80 nice okay let's go make out um but yeah they'd have some like i would be like oh man i've got like 30 gold nuggets that's so many and then people on reddit have you know 4,000. i'm just like oh okay never mind i don't have i don't have any in comparison <laughs> i'm not very good at gathering the materials for crafting if i don't immediately need to craft something so then i don't craft anything and then i have nothing and i'm like why don't i have anything <laughs> okay let's go Alright. What do I do now? Do I just go put this somewhere? Tom, help. What should I do? I'm so glad to have your help in building a bridge for our island. With your bridge construction kit on hand, go to the spot where you'll set the bridge and then set the bridge. Since you're here, would you like some advice for setting up bridges? Yes, please. Of course. Allow me to begin with the basic of bridge placement. Now, your bridge construction kit will require the same amount of space it takes to set up a tent. However, we're sp spanning water here. So pick a spot on a river, some ideal place for a crossing. Now, if the river is too wide or too narrow, has an angle, we can't do construction in those conditions. Don't decide though. Soon we'll be putting up bridges, re replacing them, moving them, whatever, whenever. For now, just pick a spot that seems relatively convenient for everyone. I know you'll find the right place. Well, at least Tom believes in me. I'm thinking of doing it. Are the well, what does the map look like? It's just it's such a narrow island because of how the river's done it. But it, I'm thinking if we put it on the left, like near Faith's house, because that way we can get to the dock. I mean, maybe not like right next to Faith's house, but speaking of, um, I'm worried I can't put it here because it'll say that the angle is too much, but I mean, we can always try. There's no river near here. Okay, do I have to be like right up against the water? Yeah, it's not even. 
So I'd have to place it maybe down the very, very bottom. Um, let me imagine it, but it's probably going to have to go here because I can't put it up higher. So, you know what? Sure. I picked a spot for a bridge. Let the land connect. Alright, well I don't have to donate because there's no gyroid, so that's something. So let's go talk to Tom again. We might have to do a sneaky little bit of time travel. So that we can continue on our mission to get more island friends. Ah, Velvet. Hello, hello. So, did you find a good place to deploy your bridge construction kit? I set it up. Splendid. Excellent work. Thank you. Then tomorrow we'll have a new bridge up and it'll be even easier to get around the island. Now that that's out of the way, it's time to start on some homes. We can wait for bridge construction to finish if you want. Or just ask me what should I do whenever, hmm? Oh, well if I can start that up, whoop, then I'm gonna get started. What should I do? Velvet, the bridge won't be ready until tomorrow, but you want to start on the homes now? Please take these three housing kits. Okay. With the housing kits I just gave you, you'll pick out the plots of three homes. Then, of course, like these homes will need furniture and such. Each housing kit comes with a list of the furniture required for its house, so be sure to read those lists. You can build everything DIY style, so let me just send you the recipes you'll need. I mean, maybe we can get one house done. That's my plan. We'll get one house done this episode, and then, like, maybe two next episode. I think that's all for me. Thanks for all your help. Um, and get some new friends. Have a nice DIY. We're earning for learning. We're getting, we're getting some points. I might have to go spend some soon. But not just yet. Um... I mean, there's really not a lot of places to put these houses because the map is, like I keep saying, very narrow, which is which is fine. Like I'm not, uh, like oh my gosh, I have a horrible map. <laughs> like it is what it is. Uh, let's see. And we've got resident services up here. We've got the stores kind of over here. Um. Cause I mean, I could put some down here. I could put one like here, like maybe next to Genji's house. I think that's gonna be way too far back. Um, I need to, uh, if I come down like here, here, I think here. Let's try this. Uh, let me imagine it. Because it's got the yard area, but only the house gets built, so the yard doesn't matter too much. You know what? The other houses are unequal anyway, so let's just do it. <laughs> I picked a spot for plot one. And I think my phone's ringing. Yep, my phone is ringing. Hello? Is that you, Velvet? Yes, yes, this is Tom Nook. How goes your search for housing land? I've got some ideas. Stupendous. I'm relieved to hear that everything is going according to plan. Be sure to check in the box in front of the plot for each room. It will show the items required for that plot. Interior items should be placed in the box, while exterior items should be placed around the plot. We want to make it look nice and decorative now, hmm? Once you've set up the plots for all three homes and placed the required items, come report back to me. I'll be waiting in resident services. Thanks again for your help. Do I have to do all three before somebody moves in, or can I do them like one at a time? That's so uneven. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just not going to look at it. It's fine. Alright, what do we need? Getaway package plot 1 construction box. To all construction helpers, please submit items to this building following the sp specified procedures. Interior items. Pair wardrobe, pair bed, and a pot. I need to write this down because otherwise I'm going to forget. So, plot 1. Pair wardrobe, pair bed, pot. And then... Let's check the exterior items. I don't have anything to shine in. Yeah, well, exterior items. And then, please place the following items in the vicinity. Stone stool. Stone table. And a clothesline. I think we can do that. I'm not going to check the procedures because my voice is getting sore from all of this reading. 
but let's have a look at what we're going to need. A, ten pairs and some wood. Ten more pairs. So, twenty pairs, basically. Do you know where the pot is? Count oh, stone, two, three, eight. So a bunch of pears, some wood, and oops, we need some clay. So we've got most of that. We just have to go chop down a whole bunch of pears. Which we can do. But no, I thought that, um, I don't know if I can do each house individually and then have somebody move in, or if I have to do all three before, like, if I finish plot one, can somebody move into plot one, or do I have to wait until all three are constructed before someone can move into plot one? I'm really not sure, and I guess I'll find out, but... Alright, well, we're almost halfway there on our pairs. <laughs> you could say, whoa, oh, we're halfway there, living on a pair. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I should probably um, hit the stone too. Because I'm going to need a bit more clay and stone. Hopefully the shovel lasts and doesn't just break instantly. That was a pretty good rock. It gave me like basically everything I wanted. And I had a daily quest for it, so there you go. Let me just pick all these up. And then I will collect that. Oh, we've got another one to chop wood, which is great, because guess what we're gonna be doing anyway? Chopping trees. Chasing bees. Alright. I'll just pick up some of these beads to make sure I don't lose anything. <laughs> I just want to do them uh, one at a time to keep it easier for me. And we'll see. And I know we've got a ceremony, I think. I think we can do a ceremony for the store, or maybe not, because I, I built it so long ago, like a week ago. But there will be other ceremonies. Oh no, my axe! That's alright, I'll just go build another one. I feel like I haven't caught, caught that dragonfly, but I know that if I go to get the dragonfly, Where did you go? Right, come back. Come on, man. You know what? Fine. Live out there. Get eaten by predators. See if I care. You could have lived in a beautiful museum with brothers taking care of you. All these souls are Tommy and Timmy. You could probably just release them anyway. Alright, let's craft a, another axe. Uh, yeah, bring the axe. And then we'll just make that into a stone axe because I have to chop a few trees today. We don't want the axe axe because then I will actually cut down the trees, which I don't... I mean, I do kind of want to cut down some, but... We'll worry about that sort of thing later, so... Hi Tom, bye Tom. And I think I've got a, some stone in my house too, so... Should be alright with that. Alright. Where are these pear trees? daily finished quite quickly. I 
if they grow fast when you just have to chop, chop down trees instead of chasing bugs and stuff. Sell a hot item for a fortune. I don't even know what the hot item is, and I probably won't do it. Okay, I don't know how many pets this is. Oh, okay, that is enough pairs. Oh, I forgot to check what I need for the clothesline, but it'll probably just be wood, so it should be fine. So I might just go collect some stones and some wood and see if I can finish up this house here. I always went to the oven to start um, crafting, but I can't craft at the oven, so... Okay, so I don't actually have any more wood. This is what I did. Oh no, I would have given it all for the store. Okay, well, hopefully that's enough for just this one. Get the axe away, you look like a murderer. Alright, let's go. I'm excited. Because I think it'll be Chevra that moves in because we met her first. And I kind of want to go visit some islands, but I kind of don't. I kind of want to just leave it up to fate for our other villages. So, okay, a pear wardrobe. This is why I wrote them down. I never would have remembered. Okay, a pear wardrobe. I don't have enough. I'm not going to have enough wood. I'm going to go have to chop down a bunch of trees. Keep crafting. Bed. Oh, it's a different kind of wood. Maybe I will be okay. But stone still on clothesline. Alright. Then keep crafting. I need to make a pot. And then a table still on the clothesline. Okay. Stone still. Thank you for clapping for me, Tom. I feel very accomplished. <laughs> and then a stone table. And then... Probably not going to have enough for it. The clues... Like, oh, I do have enough. It only costs all of my tree branches. You know, it's it's fine. I didn't need them anyway. It's not like my tools are gonna break or. Okay. Let's go put all of this in. Okay. Pair wardrobe bed pot. Submit item list. One, two, three. Attend in three items. All the required interior items are ready for this home. Okay, now. Maybe we'll do a clothesline back here. Okay, that's not where I wanted it. I wanted it like back here a bit kind of by the trees so I can pretend that the houses are aligned. Okay, no, maybe actually back a bit. Like there. And then we can put the stern table maybe here. Um, yeah, kind of there. Kind of like a little picnic -y area, sort of. I'm not, like I said, I'm not good at designing anything. You know, you can come out of your house, you can sit here, you can have a lovely breakfast. You know, with your swollen face. It's fine, it's fine. Why wouldn't it be fine? Alright, now. Oh, all the interior and exterior items for this room are ready to go. So does that mean that it'll it'll have like a for sale sign on it tomorrow? <laughs> I'm gonna talk to Nook just in case, cause I don't know. I think 
I did all three of them in one girl the other time. Last time. Oh, we walked over. Ah, Velvet. Hello, hello. So how goes it? Forgetting nicely with the floods and the frames and the furnishings and whatnot? It's all going smoothly. Wonderful. That's what I like to hear. As you finish your part, I'll get started on home constructions and welcoming our new residents. I vow to get this done quickly and to get it done right. Why, if Ogre is well, we could have someone in a new home as soon as tomorrow. Oh, so maybe they will be here tomorrow. By the way, I plan on letting the island know about folks moving in or out during my island broadcast. However, once I know who will move into a certain home, I'll post the info on the sign for that plot. If you're curious, check the signs. Anywho, keep up the good work. Okay, excellent. I don't know if that means that there will be a sold sign on it now, or if I have to wait until tomorrow for the sold sign. Let's see. Does it say sold? Yeah! Is this Chevra's new home? Filbert's new home? I don't know who that is. I thought it would be Chevra, but alright, this spot reserved for Filbert's new home. Whoever that is. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess I'll have to meet him next episode because um, I've been recording for an hour and I should probably skedaddle and I'll see you all next time. That was a fun episode. I mean, it was it was like a bit of like a little got done, but then a lot got done. So I don't know. But next time we'll get to meet Philbert and get to work on building some more houses and there goes Genji trying to catch a bug. So yeah thank you for watching if you watched it all the way through please leave a like so i knew you got here i guess and a comment and all of that stuff but you don't have to you can only do it if you want to and i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time bye